hello my loves welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here my name's Sophie and today we are diving back into work on Ichigo I haven't worked on this island in like maybe two weeks or so so it's been a hot minute for me and I'm itching to get back into things so we are continuing off from this little neighborhood area that I built in my first video for this island um, and we are doing a shopping center. Um, it's going to be back right here across this bridge that I put in. Um, and you can maybe already see, I've already done the terraforming. I've already uh, put some buildings in and put in uh, some inclines and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you what I have started with. So I basically continued this little road code um, as long as this dirt path up along here. And we basically have um, some cliffs to put some things on, to put some little builds on. Um, I didn't show the terraforming because it's pretty straightforward. As you can see, it's basically just a giant rectangle. Um, and we have the Avil sisters here, but she's looking a little different. I actually um, have been trying my hand at some of my own mods and I made this mod myself. So this whole area is gonna be a big shopping center. Um, and this business is going to be a Liz Lisa store. It's this super, super cute Japanese fashion brand. I wish they sold their clothes here in the US because everything they make is so freaking cute. Um, so I just redid the sign to say that instead of Able Sisters. Um, I thought that might be kind of fun instead of just putting up a different sign next to the building. And then I kind of mapped out where we're gonna have something right here. Um, I, I did lay out the pathing um, and you'll see as I build how things take form. I also did create my own mod to make the iron incline pink as well as this bridge and this is my first time doing a cliff bridge. If you have a modded switch you can basically place a bridge uh, not over water. It just needs to be sitting on top of one little piece of land like it is in the middle and I thought this would be super cute to make like a highway overpass. Um, I'll probably put some cars or motorbikes here so it looks like they're passing underneath it. Um, unfortunately, you can't walk underneath it though. Um, so it's not functional in that way, but you can walk on top of it. So that's super, super exciting. You can walk over it, just not underneath it. So the underneath part is just decorative. You can also maybe notice right here, but um, the little water shimmery effects um still show and you can faintly hear uh water i i mute the in-game audio always for my videos but if you were to hang out here and listen with the audio on you can faintly hear uh water uh making some noise so that's a little silly but i'm just gonna pretend uh, i don't see it and hear it and then this connects us to basically another little rectangle i just rounded it out here just a bit um, because I want to put a building right in here tucked up against the cliffs. And this is actually connecting back with that one spot by my neighborhood that I was really struggling with um, and didn't know what to do. So this is like uh, to the right, this is our little cul-de-sac that I built over here. And basically to the left of Miss Pinky's house, we are once again sitting on the ground instead of on the bench. Love that for us. Um, I have this little windy twisty path and I was like, where is this going? And then I had this dirt path over here and I was like, where is this going? I just connected them up together and I extended this little uh, river I had up here um, into a waterfall. And then it comes down in between these two cliffs. It kind of, I kind of like this having the water down beneath the two big tall cliffs. It's kind of like a little uh, canyon. I think it's kind of fun or a ravine, is that what you call it? Like when there's water? I don't know the difference between a canyon and a ravine. Someone tell me, I'm too lazy to look it up. Um, but yeah, so that's basically the terraforming. That's where we're at. I did actually do a little mini build back here. Um, if you don't have a modded switch, but you wanna do something like this and you're like, Sophie, I can't place a bridge like this. I have an alternative for you. Um, so if you don't have a modded uh, switch and you can't do the cliff bridges, this is what I would probably try to do. Basically just have a land bridge because um, it functions the same way. You can walk across it. Um, you know, you imagine there's some bridge code right here, um, like maybe some wooden planks. And then I just used these black partitions and these stone arches. 
and it kind of creates the illusion that it's like you're driving into a cave. Um, obviously this is pretty basic. If I were actually gonna do this for a build, I would dress it up a lot more. I'd maybe put like some trees right in here to cover the gap uh, between the two caves, or I would just do one. You could maybe do like one on this side, have a gap, do one over here, you know, maybe spread it out a little farther. Um, they don't necessarily need to be right next to each other. But that's an option for you if you want to take some inspiration from this build, but you can't do the little uh, just free floating bridges like this. Um, of course, you don't even have to do that cave thing. You could just have a land bridge. Um, you know, you don't you don't have to you can do whatever you want. But basically, you need some sort of walkway here if you want to recreate this build. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. I want to start by decorating and building some shops down here. Okay, so first up, what I want to build in this little corner is a boba shop. I love bubble tea. I'm trying to make all of my businesses very cutesy, uh, you know, not just like your average boring shops. They're all going to be really fun. And, and, and so we're going to start here with a little boba truck. I didn't place that right. I have not done one of these like, I think I'm actually going to have it all the way up against this incline because we're gonna need quite a bit of room here. I haven't done one of these like fake truck builds in so long. I think they're so cute. I don't know why everybody just stopped doing them all of a sudden. But I basically got some stalls with this cute little fabric on it and then this boba truck uh, code. And let's see, I grabbed some actual Boba milk cups, it kills me how comically small they are, but what are we gonna do? And I did want some other items here, not just the boba cups. So I have a little rice cooker I'm gonna place. We can pretend that that's where they cook the boba pearls. And then let's get a little cash register in here. Cute, and then let me just push these up. It doesn't line up perfectly, which is a little irritating. And I figure that's why some people don't really do these builds anymore because they're a little funky. But you know, there's no really any other way of doing this. So yeah, this is kind of our little boba truck. Um, the cash register and the uh, rice cooker don't show through super well, but you can tell it's definitely a boba truck. And then I also got another fun little code to use in addition to this truck. I got this little cute like face cut out. I thought it would be kind of cute and gimmicky to have like, oh, come up here and take a photo. And like, I think I actually want to use it as a face cut out. I'm going to actually put like the little uh, video camera item in front so that it's like, I don't know. I feel like you see that sometimes in places. They'll have like little goofy things set up next to their business. Like, oh, come take a photo. And then maybe I think it'd be cute if we had some people waiting in line. All right, so we got some folks waiting in line. Our wallpoid back here is so angry. He is so impatient. He can't believe how slowly this line is freaking moving. He's ready to have a meltdown. And I probably will add in maybe some pathing underneath. I just want to get the basic building layouts done first. And let's see where, okay, I would love to put a tree right here. Because I like to have nature and stuff in between my builds. Okay, and so right here, this is going to be a nice big building. Um, I want to make this one a Sanrio cafe. Um, I've always wanted to go to a Sanrio cafe. I know they have a couple like in different locations or they sometimes do pop-up events. Um, I just thought that would be so stinking cute if we had like this huge Sanrio cafe and I found some super cute codes. Um, these codes here um, that are, as you can see, by um, Alex. Um, if you don't follow them over on Instagram, go check them out. They do some really cool codes, but they have all these cool window codes and uh, stall codes to make it actually look like a Sanrio cafe. So it's like that sort of color scheme and it matches all the cinema roll items. So 
that's exactly what we're going to try and build here. We're going to use those uh, coats on some panels and try and make a building. I'm just laying down these tiles to kind of be like underneath of the building and then also kind of give me an idea of how big this is going to be. Okay, I like kind of don't know how to make fake buildings. So I figure I do a stall and then the panels in front, but I don't know how to get the height. I'm thinking like a bookshelf. I know I've done that before in the past. I'm not really sure what to do. Let me try that. I feel like a lot of fake buildings I see nowadays are like made with the castle pieces, which is cute, but that's not the vibes I want for this island. So I'm kind of like, mm, what am I doing? Here? Like, I don't know if this even looks quite right. Like just not tall enough for a roof piece like this needs to be taller I don't know maybe just do these panels with the bookshelf like right up against them I don't know I mean I think that definitely looks good but we need some sort of height over here I don't know how people do this kind of stuff and I feel like I'm gonna need to build up on behind it but like I was gonna have other stuff okay and then I also grabbed this big display thing is this oh that's a really good item oh i bet that's what people use because look at how tall that is um i did customize that one i think i need to flip it around though so you can't see custom code on it okay yeah i think maybe this is how people do their their custom buildings because that's a pretty decent size i basically want the upper level behind it to be like a back balcony kind of a moment like you go in the cafe and that's like a back area to go sit and eat uh your cafe goodies i'm also thinking that maybe now i won't have this tree here because i feel like i need it to be six tiles across Unless if I just have the building be a two by two, you know, actually that could be cute. Have the building be like this. Oh my God, there's a gnat in my face. Get out of there. Like, is that cute? Let me see. Ooh, or maybe I'm having a different idea. Oh my God, of course my pockets are full. Maybe have the building, cause I want it to go six across. Maybe have it be like, like a L shape, you know? So like here, I'll push this all the way over and then I'll have another one of these displays here. That's cute. And then I think that's pretty cute. That's kind of a cute look, isn't it? I'm kind of digging it. And then let's see, I'm thinking, cause I think you can put, yeah, you can put stuff there, do that. And then maybe we need like one of the, the plush, the plushies to give it that Sanrio vibe. Okay, let's see if I can place this. Okay, cute, that is so cute, I love that. Okay, and then let's get our simple panels placed. Some cute little windows here. I'm thinking we'll put, oops, we will stick a uh, simple shed as like the doorway. So just like that, like that's the front door to the cafe. I think that's cute. I kind of want this to be double height though. So maybe I will build another big layer up and then maybe the balcony will be on the third tier. That might work better, honestly, having it up on a third level. So it's like raised up above this clothing store that I'm gonna put in right here. And then it could actually be like back here. I don't even remember what business I was gonna put in this back corner, but that might look better. Let me see, maybe do, this one kind of angled since I do have an uneven number I'm like this and then stick in some more of these wide display items. Have that kind of be the upper level of the building. Let's see, does that look good or does that look silly? I kind of dig that. I think that looks good. It's better than I usually do for a fake building. I'm digging it. I mean, obviously the simple or the stall is at a weird uh, angle. It's at a weird height, but I don't know what else to put there. Other than I wonder if a simple panel would work. No, if I did a simple panel with this this curtain code, it wouldn't look quite. I think this is honestly decent. You can like kind of sort of tell what this is meant to be. It's it's obviously like a little cafe moment. So then I suppose I need to build up this cliff back here. 
and this will be our like back uh, porch cafe moment. Well, this won't be able to build up, so I guess I'll have these stalls. I might even do, what if I did these, just wrapping around this whole side part of the building. I'm thinking maybe I should put something cute here, like a plant even. I don't know. Maybe the umbrella, like that, and then just have all these displays wrapping around the sides of the the building or at least the left side that could be kind of fun it's kind of a vibe let's see here i'm not thinking i want this to wrap all the way around here in which case i could probably put this little umbrella here or remove that umbrella there and put the stalls three across and have that be our cute little uh roof moment so let's see what that would look like I think that's cute. Honestly, I think it's fine if it's maybe a little taller on the lower left. I could even move this over. Let's see, maybe I should even move. Uh, you know what? Let me pick up this stupid tree. It's so in the way. Move some of this stuff over a bit. Oh, I'm gonna have to pick all this up, aren't I? Okay, so I'm gonna try this layout instead. So the boba truck's gonna be like right up by the building. I think I'll still put this tree back in. Just have it kind of partially cover up the building, but you can see that it does go like behind it. And then we'll put our little Poba cutout photo area back in here. I think this is still really cute and like city-like. Although now my thing that I'm thinking is maybe having simple panels in front of these stalls. So I'll have to break this clip down and move everything back at least half a tile. Make room for the simple panel. I think this is about the right distance back. Okay so that looks good. And then let's see here. Oh that looks great. The simple panels line up so nicely. Um, behind behind these whatever these are called wide display stand i love that it looks so good okay let me also put this little tile coat back down i know we're gonna like mostly cover it with furniture but still i want to know that it's like under there okay and then now let's put these stalls back in okay um let's see from down here okay i dig it i think it's looking good you can't really see the stalls though. The little stall is like not even visible, so maybe I won't even bother with those. And we can just move these back like how they were. Okay, so I think we have our building pretty much laid out now. I wonder what does the tall is the stall behind this? No, I don't like that. Okay, let's go ahead and put this tile flooring down on what is basically the roof of this building. Okay, so now the last thing I want to do is basically get some tables set up here uh, since I wanted this to be like a rooftop dining spot. We need some food sitting out. And of course I'm using the cinema roll um, furniture for this. And also real quick, I wanted to put some fencing up in the back here. Uh oh, or not. I don't know why my fencing keeps like going invisible like that. Okay, I'm not sure what the deal is. All of my fencing is invisible, even when I crafted it myself. I know this is like some sort of a glitch that I've seen other people complain about with modded uh, switches. So I'm not really sure how to get around that. Um, I might have to mess around with it a bit and see what I can figure out, but I don't want to like spend a bunch of time on that right now. So I'm just going to finish decorating this cute little rooftop area and Call it good there. I don't think it's a huge deal if there isn't any fencing in the back since um, it's not really going to show that much anyway. There we go. Okay, let's see how this building looks like from down here. I think that is so stinking cute. It really does look like a building. I'm not really good at all the fake building type stuff, so it's exciting when I do one. And it actually looks like a real building. Like, that's pretty cool. I do need to fix here, though. This pathing path now is just, like, leading to nowhere. So let me uh, wipe that away. Don't need that. And before I start decorating up there, I do want to finish decorating down here. Oh, I would really, really love to use some fencing here. It's driving me crazy that it's not letting me place anything, though. It is so freaking weird. So I guess in the meantime, since it's not going to let me do normal fencing I will put down some bushes and use that oh I didn't mean to dig that back up we'll plant some bushes and use that as a makeshift sort of fencing I think it's gonna look just as cute so it's not all right so there's that 
out. Okay, and then out front, I think I'm gonna put out some of this cute cinema roll stuff just to kind of entice you to come in here. I think that's gonna look so cute. And then maybe let's put some bike parking over here. I'm actually thinking let's wipe this away here, put in some bushes and then have a bike or two. It looks like people have parked in front of the cafe. All right, so there's a little bike parked in front of our little cafe. I think that's really stinking cute. And then let's see, let's have some little pathing that leads up here. These little wood planks. I think that's so stinking cute. Such a cute cafe. You guys, I just got the cutest idea. Oh my God. It does mean I'm gonna have to rip a bunch of this apart, but it's gonna be so worth it. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is gonna be way too cute. I felt like it wasn't giving Sanrio. Like I wasn't sure if the vibes were coming off. So I'm gonna do this My Melody dresser and flip it around and you can see her little face. Isn't that adorable? I'm trying to decide if I wanna do just a bunch of her all in a row like this, or how am I gonna do it? I kind of, I'm kind of obsessed. I kind of just wanna have like six of her all along here. Isn't that adorable? Oh my God. And then I can put display stands back in and slide them over. Oh my freaking God. I think that's way cuter than honestly. It's so precious. But I do then want to break this cliff down a little bit so that it's all lined up lush. And then I think since it was being funky with my fencing, I'll just stick some of these display stands along the back and it'll be kind of a makeshift fencing. I mean, it basically is fenced in here if you look at it like this. So I guess it feels like an actual safe, functional rooftop there. Kind of want to push these back though, like as far as I can, so they're more visible. They even will be visible at all. Okay, I think this is adorable. Just a cute little baby rooftop there. So before I continue with the build, I'd like to take a moment to thank today's sponsors, Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. If you're not familiar with them, these are Japanese snack subscription boxes that allow you to enjoy and experience the taste of Japan from the comfort of your own home. Uh, Tokyo Treat is a monthly pop Japanese snack box that has all sorts of limited edition and seasonal snacks and it always comes with lots of fun things like ramen, Kit Kats, drinks, very fun stuff. And Sakura Co, on the other hand, is a monthly Japanese artisan snack box that works with lots of local makers across Japan to bring you all sorts of really unique artisanal snacks. And every month's box always comes with um, some bags of tea and you'll get some really cute tableware. Um, I have with me, this was this month's tableware, this adorable little glass with little cherry blossoms on it. This is so cute. I love little cups like this. And then this month's tea was, I think it's a, let's see the bag, blueberry hibiscus tea. I already brewed up one of them. I've got it here with me. I love all the fun herbal teas. Um, they usually do herbal or green tea. Really everything has been great. So if you're a tea lover like me, this is great. Okay, that's really good tea. Oh, that's so yummy. And another fun thing that these boxes do is they always have a theme every month. So for this next month here, uh, Tokyo Treats theme is Sakura Matsuri Snack Fest. One of my past islands that I designed was literally like Matsuri themed. So I was super excited to see this. Um, so there's all sorts of fun uh, snacks that you would probably eat at those events. And then Sakura Co's theme is a night of Sakura. So again, lots of Sakura Blossom things. I love that. I love everything pink and florally. Um, the booklets also tell you um, about everything that you're getting. They tell you what the items are, the ingredients, if there's allergens. Um, there's also lots of fun like cultural information like it will tell you different things like it'll tell you about what matsuri is or like where to go see cherry blossoms um they give anime recommendations all sorts of fun stuff like that so they're really cool to flip through and yeah of course the best part the snacks they're so freaking good always i tried out several of them right away and let me tell you they did not disappoint okay the first thing i'm gonna try these strawberry kit kats Love the peachy pink packaging, very on brand for me. Mm. Literally tastes like real strawberries, I swear. 
Japanese Kit Kats are so next level. The fruity flavors are truly my favorite. Okay, next I want to try this Sakura Castella cake. I always love when they have like little pastries or breads. Um, there's almost always at least some sort of a pastry-ish thing every month and it's almost always the first thing that goes because they're so good. It's kind of magical too that these products like they're, they're not stale or dried out when they get to you either like in case you're worried about that like it's still soft and it feels fresh which is kind of magical mm. this with the tea is like perfect little afternoon tea meal next i want to try this little sakura cream cookie i'm gonna be really careful opening it so i don't break it it's got this super cute flower print on the front look at how pretty that is with the little flowers and they're like super thin cookies and there's a little bit of cream in the middle Ooh! oh man down mm. Mm. love a good crunchy snack okay and since everything i've tried is sweet let's finish off with something savory we've got these koi koikea um what do they call them <laughs> we are gonna finish with these Koikea Nori Shio chips, which it even says in the book that these are the perfect savory partner for sweet snacks. So I think we're gonna open these up, finish with something a little more salty, umami. It's always a great mix of sweets and savory, uh, salty snacks. So, mmm, mmm. I love the seaweed flavor. It's like very nice and yeah, just like salty, savory. Almost reminds me of like a sour cream and onion chip, but it's not quite. So if you are interested in trying either of these boxes out for yourself or maybe even giving it as a gift to someone, I think these would be super, super fun, like housewarming gifts or birthday gifts. You can actually use the code PEACHY at checkout for $5 off your first subscription box. And um, I also will have a link down below in my description box that you can uh, use and order them. A huge thank you again to Tokyo Treat and Soccer Co for sponsoring my videos and always sending me these amazing treats. It's so much fun. And I know that you all would probably love trying these too. Um, it's honestly so, so fun. Such a great way to treat yourself and try out things that you could never find here in the States. So it's so fun. Okay, so I think that's officially done. Let's go see. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, she's a little cut off, but at this angle, it looks perfect. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh. Too precious. Okay, and I love our little boba hand moment over here. It's so cute. And I think we'll put a little stunted tree here. I always love to have as much nature worked in to a build as I can. I don't like things being too city-ish, too much furniture. This looks really, really, really cute. Oh my goodness. I'm thinking maybe here in front of the boba stand, you just have this little menu sign, kind of fill in the space and it obviously fits the theme really well. Okay, and then let me just add a couple flowers in, make it look a little bit more filled in, a little more complete, very cute. So I think this lower part of the whole shopping area is perfect. Then up here, we basically just need to decorate us a little clothing store. All right, so I think for this clothing store, I'm just gonna put out some of these clothing racks. And that should hopefully look pretty good. Definitely put all sorts of things like these shoe boxes, up some little bags, you know, different accessories that you'd want to purchase. And then I'm thinking like just a little low table with some clothes on it would be really fitting. Like you're browsing almost, it's almost like browsing through thrifted stuff, you know? Okay, and something I've kind of been forgetting to do pretty much this whole build is put in some, you know, normal city type items that you'd see like street lights um, or benches or other things like that. I think that I'm really, really missing out on that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna make sure that I get some of that in here. I have some benches. Let's get some of these little curved street lights put in. I think that'll especially make these builds look really, really good at nighttime and give it a lot more of a 
realistic city vibe. And maybe one right here. I wanna use some of these evergreen ashes too, since I've kind of been failing miserably at actually placing these in different areas. I just think they're really, really cute and perfect for a kind of town slash city island. I always forget to put them, so I need to start adding some to my build. We do on either side of this little bridge setup. That'll look really nice. And then I can even line some up along the back of this street here too. It's a great space filler. Okay, so it's actually been a day since I last recorded. Um, which you can probably tell because all my flowers are spreading. I guess it must have rained. Uh, although I'm in cherry blossom season, so it shouldn't it shouldn't rain. So I don't know I don't know what's up with that. But in any case, I am back and I actually did some practice building in Happy Home Paradise last night, playing around with my fake building uh, stuff. And I'm still really happy with how this turned out, but I want to make some tweaks. First of all, I don't like this. I really want to use like a cutout door code. Um, I don't really like this one though. So I think I'm actually going to pop into Ables and see if I can find like a good door code before we continue to build um, our shops over here. We're going to have three shops over in this area if I can fit them. Um, I might only be able to fit two of them. I think I uh, underestimated how big some of these builds would be. All right, and I'm too lazy to actually like look up a code online. So we're just gonna try doing it this way. I'm literally just gonna type in door and then I wanna see cutout standees. I know I've seen some really cute ones on like Pinterest, but I'm literally too lazy, can't be bothered. Yes, I've seen these, the little hobbit doors. That is so cute. I like this one, the white with the pink flowers. That's a maybe. That almost looks like a picket fence though. So not quite what I want to go for. These two are really nice, but I'd prefer pink. Maybe just like a basic brown wood. I have plenty of code spaces, so I can always grab a couple and see what I want to work with. I also might want to do a double door moment on one of my other uh, shops I'm going to build. So let's grab both of the doors. I like these clear doors. That's kind of a fun idea. Okay, these ones don't suit the vibes of my island, but these are cool. So fancy. I don't know how people do it. Oh, I like this. Just the white. That's going to look really good, I think, with the Sanrio Cafe. Oh, look at this. Oh my God, no, that's perfect. It's literally pink, yellow, and blue. The exact colors that I'm using for my little cafe. That's cute. Okay, so I think I'm actually gonna take this panel out and maybe put in that set of double doors. That is so cute. Oh my goodness, I love it. I think that's so cute. Okay, and then I'm kind of actually not vibing with this like photo area I set up. It just doesn't work. I think I just want to stick to just the couple of little gyroid dudes hanging out here. Might stick another flower in here um, just to fill it in. You know, what? I don't want to do the same flower though. Maybe like a little set of t a little table and chair set would actually be cute. Uh, maybe like a spot to actually sit and drink your boba. Okay, I think I'm gonna do just this cute little set of stools with a garden table. I think that'd be cute to have just a little setup here. Sit and drink your bubble tea. Okay, definitely liking this a lot better than what I had before. I like that. Okay, and then I wanna add also a bit of this like dirt or grass overlay to this path just a little bit just to give it a little more texture okay looking cute okay and then also going through a bunch of items yesterday uh, on happy home i just remembered that there's so many good like city core items i need to use like the drink machines and stuff i'm already thinking okay my plan was to put three shops one here one here and then one up above. I think we're just gonna have room for just two. Um, it's gonna be really cramped right here. So I think we'll put some of these drink and snack machines right here. 
I think that'll look a little better. And then just another one of these cute little benches. I like this, I kind of want to use the wooden block bench a little bit more. I think I did the iron benches up here. I think the wooden bench though would be a lot cuter. Um, just a little bit more rustic, which is nice since this is supposed to be kind of a farming town, um, farming village, whatever you want to call it. Some flowers planted up here as well. I kind of gave up on that. I got really sleepy yesterday filming, so I decided to pause and then yeah, I played around on Happy Home a bit and I got some ideas for some different things I could build. So I'm pretty happy still with the, the shop over to the left. I think that looks really good still still super happy with this i just wanted to change out the doors little sad that the the my melody doesn't show that well like the face but from the second level you can see it really well and it's super cute so now i think i want to work on the shops over here i forgot i had this boba sign i forgot that these shop signs like exist and one of them has an apparel uh look on it so i decided to do that instead of the bench there and then i'm just gonna have some big shopping carts set up outside okay and now let's work over here we are gonna actually be putting in another really big shop right here which i'm so excited about this is gonna turn out so cute so i need to start with some of these display stands and push them up on the cliff. I might actually have one facing forward because I want to maybe put some actual items on display. Maybe let me customize whatever is on that though. Okay, so this one's actually going to face forward and I have this cute little uh, design in there of this little kind of anime character. All right, and if you've been wondering what the heck is this store actually going to be, Here's where we're gonna find out. I am building a Daiso. I think Daiso is such a freaking cool store. Um, we don't have a Daiso where I live. We do have Mini Saw, which is kind of similar, but more overpriced, <laughs> at least in my experience. Um, but I thought since this is kind of a Japan inspired island, I wanted to have a lot of cute, like, uh, Japanese businesses and I've seen people do like 7-Eleven or Lawson's or Family Mart or things like that. I have yet to see a Daiso build though so that's what we are doing. All right and then we're just gonna get a couple more of these display stands in here. Uh Gail you're in the way. I'm also definitely gonna have to actually move this pathing. I think once again I've underestimated how big this is gonna be. Um, if I want to have another shop like behind here, I'm definitely probably going to have to build up another level um, and have the shop up another level because I think that this building's just going to be too tall. It's not going to show well, but I think we can make that work. We could totally have another level um, with another incline up here. I think that'd be just fine. Okay, so I think that's super cute. It's pretty basic, but um, it gets the job done for sure. Climb. Actually, it's not going to work to climb down there. So I think that looks pretty cute. It definitely, it, it's a Daiso for sure. I think that's so stinking cute. So we need to get some cute stuff on display here. So I'm just gonna set out here a plush because I feel like they sell plush. And then I feel like uh, Daiso's always sell a lot of like cosmetics or other like household good type things. So I'm gonna put that nail set out. And then let's see, I wanna put, I should have thought about putting floor down first. I did not think of that, but I wanna put down a bunch of this tile code. Looks like it pretty much goes up to the edge here. I just need to move these door standees uh, temporarily. I might also switch to the pink ones. I know it's then gonna look pretty similar to the Sanrio Cafe, but I think the pink is just so much cuter. All right, cute. And let's get those doors placed again. We'll do the pink ones though. It's just gonna match the vibes better definitely matching much better and we'll do once again just a bunch of baskets and things out front some shopping carts all just kind of 
laced out here so you can go in and do your shopping. I'm doing the red logo on these carts since I think Daiso. I've seen, when I looked up references, some of the shops have a red logo and some had a pink. <clears throat> um, and I believe Miniso is red, so it, it's kind of giving both of those vibes right now. But I think that that is going to be really cute. Um, and then over here, I want to stick in some bushes to kind of outline some of this area. I think maybe some of these like trees as well would be good. It'll just look very city-like, but still have like a touch of nature. I hate when things are just too, too much of the city, you know, too um, white and, and, and sterile. <clears throat> Let's put down a little bit of grass underneath. Soda machines, give it a little more color, a little more character. I think that'll be much better. Okay, that's super duper cute. Let's see, are my fences going to work today? Okay, they're not clear anymore, thank the lord. I don't know what the hell was going on yesterday. I know that is like a glitch thing, so maybe there's something I did that it was just glitching a little. I want to put in some fencing. Um real quick while well, this is working before it, it conks out on me again. I ugh, I didn't like how many bushes there were here. It was just like too much, too much bush core. The pink, I wanna, <clears throat> I wanna see if the blue and pink is gonna work though. Maybe it's only specific colors. Okay, no, it's working now. Okay, cool. I don't know what the deal was yesterday because I think the blue and pink would be really good in front of this shop since we've obviously got a lot of blue and pink. The other facilities though, I want just plain pink fencing. I think that'll work better. And I honestly kind of think I'd like to do just some, I think I do want to change. I don't want to have this many of the My Melodies. It just doesn't look quite, oh, it doesn't look quite right. So oh, one thing that I also kind of forgot that I want to do, okay, let's leave that girly on the end. I want to use this neon sign. I kind of forgot about using it and I think it's really, really cute. It's a little intense. It's kind of like way darker than the other stuff, but I think it's cute because it is, you know, diner vibes. So that would work. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to do it like this. Ugh. And then yeah, put in a little the hedges even the hedges aren't even gonna show. That's not gonna show. It's not gonna be visible. We'll just leave the hedges out then. Of course you're facing the wrong way now. Or is gonna be like ten times harder to, to place now. Oh my goodness. Trying to like rotate and push big items when you're working in a little space like this is so annoying. One hope I have for the next Animal Crossing is that you'll be able to decorate your own town with the abilities that we have in like Happy Home um, Paradise, you know, like being able to, oh my God, no, I can't do this. Ah, uh, okay, let me, Dig up another plant. This is getting crazy. Oh, God damn it. Just because I love how easy it is to move furniture around in Happy Home, and I would love that for our own uh, town. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Um, I don't, I might just leave this mostly open. And then just have the My Melodies on the ends. I think I might just do it that way. I think that'll look better. And then let's put these bushes back in here. Maybe I'll do a bush and flower. And then here's the baskets again. That looks cute. And then back down here, I kind of forgot about putting the signs back, so... Let's actually have the bike parked on the outside and then we'll put the sign on the inside. I think I'd like that much better. Doing it like this way. 
think that looks better. That's so cute. And then I'm feeling like we maybe need some seating out here. Like, you know, sometimes when you go to a really busy restaurant and they just have seating outside because it's like such a long wait to get in. We definitely need some seating so you can like sit um, out here while you're waiting for your table to be ready. I'll use those cute little colorful wooden block benches. This looks pretty cute. I think this looks cute. It's giving, <clears throat> it's giving cafe, I think a little more now. I will probably just keep going back and touching up some of these builds, especially like the really city builds like this, because I'm just not always great at this kind of stuff. And so I feel like it takes a lot of work to kind of get it done in a way that looks cute. You know, I'm just going to add some fencing here and there. I definitely need, yeah, like a bunch of plants in here. Let's grab some random flowers. We'll stick some more plants in here and maybe have some dropped items or codes on the ground here. I never use this. I need to use the strawberry code like way more. I also have, oh my God, I forgot. <clears throat> I have the spilled boba code. I have to go put that by the boba shop. Like below, too perfect. Too perfect. Also fill in back here and put some fencing, just totally lined this whole walkway. I love, even though this is like, oh, it's like behind buildings. Like, are you really gonna see this? I like everything being filled in. Maybe I'll actually do, since I've got a big, two big straight lines, let's do some hedges and then fence. I love layering fencing. That's a really great tip for filling in space and making things look really good. Literally, yeah, layering the fencing like this. Like doing a hedge in front of another fence. Like layering the hedges with like a wooden fence is so pretty on like a natural island. Love it. Okay, this is looking pretty cute. Okay, yeah, let's get that dropped boba code. Someone dropped their heckin' boba on the floor. Oh my god, this is literally making me want boba so badly. This sounds so good right now. <gasps> Lily! She's so cute. Oh my gosh, okay, I don't know when this video is going up, if it's gonna be like a few days from when I'm filming or if it's gonna be like several weeks. But as of the day I'm filming, Froggy Crossing finally found Lily. She found her yesterday and I'm so freaking happy for her. I was like secondhand dying, like watching all of her villager hunts and just being like, girl, how do you have the worst luck possible? Why is this girl not showing up for you? So I suddenly feel like I need to appreciate Lily way more because some people have gone through hell to get her, <laughs> apparently. Um, oh my goodness. I could never do a hunt that long. The longest villager hunt I ever did was 400 tickets. Um, and I think, who, I think I did 400 tickets looking for Julian. I gave up and ended up taking Gonzo. And then someone in a Discord server basically offered me, um, a Julian. So I was able to get him that way. Um, so it all worked out in the end. But yeah, oh my god, I could not hunt that long. I would, like, actually go insane. Yeah, literally my longest was 400 and this one, she did 1400 almost. Like, girly, how did you not like actually end someone's life from the stress? I would have like gone feral and just attacked someone. I don't know. Okay, I need to like put flowers in here though. <sighs> okay, that's so cute. Also, yeah, I think the Daiso is pretty good. That's pretty much good. Let me go look down in front again. I got distracted by fencing. <laughs> Let me go look over here. Okay, yeah, she's looking pretty cute. I think that's pretty solid. I think I want to go in here, add in a ton more fencing though. And just to totally separate this area up, you know. I think I'll stop it right there and then do bush. And then maybe literally just like one hedge. 
you don't, you know, if you do fencing, you don't have to do a bunch. Like one little hedge here, or I have one little piece here. Totally works. You don't have to have like a huge, huge row. But I want to totally block this off since this is like residential back here. Um, so I'll block it off with fencing and then fill in probably just a bunch of flowers. Maybe a tree or two. Let's see, I could put something here. Okay, I know I should be focusing on like getting the main part of the build done first probably, but I just love doing all the little details honestly as I go. I love like just filling in codes and planting flowers and all that before I move on. It just feels more satisfying to get an area totally done. And like, I wanna go back. I haven't been putting like cars and scooters and stuff enough. I wanna go back basically through everything I've done and add a ton. And then we can move on to our final building, which yeah, I do wanna squeeze in one more shop uh, up above the Daiso, which I'm actually technically gonna have a couple different like shopping city type areas. I am going to have Nook's Cranny somewhere else and make it like a flower supply shop. Um, so I want that in a more like rural kind of area. And then I am planning a build in the back of my island. I want to build a giant boardwalk just all across the back and I'll have a lot of fun like carnival type builds. Like I want to have like uh obviously i have saved codes i'm gonna have a sushi stand i want to have like some arcade games i want to do a cosplay shop which is why i have a cosplay thing which also if you can see my codes you can maybe guess what the next shop is going to be i want to do a little manga uh bookstore up above the daiso i think that'd be really cute so i'm gonna do that next let me just finish placing some of these fillery bits all right, let's start filling this stuff in. And I think technically they drive on the left side of the road in Japan, so I guess we're gonna we're gonna do this on the left side. Um, ignore the fact that they're technically going up over the curb. Okay, they're they're trying their best. They're trying their best. Okay, not not everyone can be a good driver. Yeah, I want to do it this way since this is kind of I would imagine. For sure, this town like being in Japan somewhere. So they're they're also kind of driving on the curb. It's okay. Ooh, Gail, she's digging it. Oh, she's like, hello. You just turned the lights on. She's like, is this my Mercedes? She's ready to hop in. Ready to go driving love that for her okay the cars aren't gonna really work for the the angled areas maybe the scooters could work though just kidding no the scooters are so not angled either do a little scooter here maybe another little scooter bike over here i'm gonna do a white one and another nice big not a skateboard put a nice big car over here what the fuck oh I guess I messed up over here. Um, Sometimes there's items placed. Just the goofy shit that your Switch does when it's modded. And I literally can't move that now. That's great. Um, Yeah, I think that's it for cars for now. I felt like I grabbed like so many. I didn't need that many though. You know what? I still have not decorated this front area. Several people suggested bike parking. I might slap a few scooters down. I think they meant probably like bicycles, but I think scooter parking would be really fun. Just so you get the vibes that this is like a little bit more fancy of a city. Let's maybe take this bike out then. We don't want too many bikes in a row. But I think that'd be a cute idea for the entrance. Just have some scooters parked up here. Okay, anyways, back to the, the actual like building of the shops. Let's build this little manga shop. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to just build another layer of cliff here. Wait, no, 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 don't turn it off. I already had it on. I think that'll be our best bet. Okay, I'm gonna need an incline up. <clears throat> I'm gonna use the dark dirt to kind of mark where it's gonna go. Maybe I'll actually have it go... I was originally gonna ha thinking of going like up this way. No, I think I want it going up this way. And then I obviously need to just add some more cliff space in the back. 
because it's not gonna work as is. Okay, obviously we're gonna have to have some cliff here. That'll be the top of the stairs. And then yeah, it looks like I can have it go two over, like have a two tile walkway that'll take you over to this area. I'm kind of thinking, cause this is such an awkward angle, like maybe it'll be something where like you enter from the side. Like, so we go in from this angle. I don't know, this is kind of a weird, I'm kind of changing my mind. Like maybe I don't want an incline. Maybe I'll just put the building back here. It'll be kind of behind the Daiso, but I think it's gonna be okay, honestly. I'm kind of not liking how this is turning out. I'm thinking of just knocking down some cliffs, put in a little tree to separate, and then have this other shop a little farther in the back. Okay, yeah, so like I could have a tree here, kind of fill it in a bit. And yeah, I might just kind of have the building be like the door is right on this like left side. And then yeah, it's just built like this, kind of. I also don't think it needs to go this far to the right. It doesn't need to be that long of a building. So let's re-go over this with some dirt. We're gonna have our bookshop here. I want to use this wood tone since I haven't really used this yet. I think this would look good for a bookstore. We can have one of the displays facing forward and we can put some books. Maybe I'll actually have two displays facing forward. So like those are the, the front windows. I suppose if this is more of a manga shop, we should maybe do the magazine stack instead of all just like straight up books. That might look a little better. So that's our manga for sale. And then I'll probably just put a little sign out front that says manga. Nothing too huge. All right, here is our little manga sign. And we'll just have one single door. We'll use that white door. I think that's gonna look cute. Right here. Perfect, so you can just walk on up and go into the bookstore. Then up on this level, I actually experimented uh, with some different items, as I mentioned, and I made a really cute discovery. So this tokonoma is really, really great for doing fake buildings because it's super tall. Um, just slightly taller than um, the wide display stand that I've been using. But I think probably the cutest thing that I'm going to do now that I'm excited about is... Um, so I made the discovery that the floating block is like exactly the same height as the tokonoma. And so I got this idea to place all these floating blocks as like roof pieces, oh, which it is a little bit annoying to place them because they float, so you can't push them, obviously. But then you can do this with the little brewstoids up here. Is that not adorable? So I'm thinking like, okay, I'll also maybe want one here. So it looks like the little brewstoids are, are up on the roof. Uh, isn't that so precious? I'm obsessed. I feel like these floating blocks are really underrated. I've honestly seen some crazy builds with them. That's another thing you could do um, over there for the fake highway pass. You could just place a row of floating blocks and then put a car to make it look like it's driving underneath it. Um, of course, that style you wouldn't be able to walk across. You can't walk on top of the floating blocks, but um, it's going to bother me that that one's facing differently. But yeah, I think these are a really creative item to work with. There's like so many applications for it. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this. I'm obsessed. I will have to just make the cliff a little bigger just to walk on. Okay, I'm literally so obsessed with this though. This is so stinking cute. <clears throat> and then obviously the side looks very open. So let's put some of these wide display stands on the side. Actually, we'll do more of the tokonomas because they're going to be much taller. Yeah, let's just stick these displays in here 
kind of make the side of the building look a little better. And then I would love to plant a tree up in here. Or you know what? We could actually place this kind of tree. I think this would look a lot more city type, the evergreen ash. So cute. It's definitely giving like public library slash bookstore vibes. And I love that. We've got another skateboard in here. Hey, this looks so good. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Okay, and you can just barely see the little brewstoids up on the roof. Yeah, you can barely see them. But you know what? I know it's there. I know they're there. It's a cute little accent. A little bit hard to see, but you know what? I think it's cute. I think it's really, really cute. But I think with that, this whole build is done. So let's go do a quick walkthrough and kind of see what we've built today. All right, so we're gonna start uh, from back here. I love you can already see like in the distance, so much stuff. Like you can tell you're getting into a shopping area. We have our final design for the boba car. I'm really, really happy with this. I did want to use that one cut out, but I think it just didn't look quite right. I'm really loving this whole like table setup, the little spilled boba code and our crazy little gyroids who are getting very impatient waiting in line. And then, of course, our gorgeous Sanrio Cafe it took so much work, but I think in the end, this looks really stinking cute. It actually looks like a real cafe. I love it. Like, you can totally tell what it's meant to be. Up here, we have our Able Sisters slash Liz Lisa store with all sorts of stuff sitting out for buying clothing. And we can just see the little rooftop dining moment. Uh, up above our Sanrio Cafe. I love that. And then of course over here we've got our manga shop. Fancy little bookstore. I honestly love the mix of the wood and the white colors. Um, I obviously did a lot of white tones for these builds to be more clean and minimalist but my heart really prefers the wood tones. I think that's so fun. And then finally, here's our Daiso, which I don't think I said before, but I did make that code myself. There are a couple like pre-made Daiso codes, but I just didn't quite like what I was seeing. So I made that myself. I think it's so fun. But yeah, thank you all so much for hanging out today. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun with it. I'm really proud of myself that I'm getting better at doing these huge fake building uh, builds because it's something I'm not naturally good at. Oh, Gail's coming to get herself another drink. Or maybe she needs a little snack to go with her beverage. <laughs> I love seeing my villagers walk around these builds. But anyways, uh, yeah, hope you all have a great rest of your day. And I will see you on the next one. Bye bye. Stay peachy.